Hey guys, welcome back to BMB Toys. Today we're going to continue our Star Wars Vintage Collection with the Rogue One Darth Vader. We all remember that scene, how amazing it was. Awesome, made Rogue One just an even better film than it already was, which it was a great film. Not really interested in the plastics here. I wish they would have went soft goods all the way through. But it's got the good Kenner logo. Really good look here. This is when he had the guy up. The only thing that looks weird is it looks like you can almost see somebody's eyes in there. I don't know if they plan that or what it is, but yeah, and this is the scene when he had that guy up on the ceiling, which is awesome. On the back here, we have Vader, Rex, Mandalorian, Hondo, Armor, Moff Gideon, Trooper Fives, and Trit. Let's waste no time. Let's get this bad boy open. It would rip off perfect so you don't have to waste the card like that. I could have took a little time doing it, but it's okay. All right. Like I said, I always keep the shell. Let's get the figure off first because I know he's got a soft cake crack here somewhere. All right. And here's our Darth Vader. I should say our Rogue One Vader, which just takes us back to the original New Hope. Ooh, it's a really nice cape. Very, very large size cape. I wish I had others to do. Oh my gosh, that's like a Batman cape. I wish I had other Vaders to do comparisons with, but unfortunately I do not have any that I'm willing to open. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this cape. I mean, it feels like it's way too big, as you can see. Like, that's way too big. I mean, he can use it as a blanket if he gets cold at night in space, which it does get cold in space. So first off, let's start this proper review with a head tilt. Now his head goes forward and snaps right off like that. He does not have any forward or back really at all. He does rotate completely around. It's got a really nice silver shiny, well, I should say shiny, not silver, dome piece. It's tilt and a little bit, not a whole lot. As far as his arms, his arm comes, holy moly. I do love these shoulder pieces he's got here. His arms come all the way up, so he can surrender if need be. I really, really like that. It's very nice. Seems to have a little bit of movement back and forward here as well, if you can see that. Almost like a butterfly joint, but I don't think that's it. His elbows come in this far before taking off the wrist here. He doesn't have any articulation in the hand, which he really just has the lightsaber, so I guess that's okay. He does have the wrist spin. Not really a fan of these hands, to be honest with you. If you guys can see that well, I apologize. Uh, same thing with his left hand. No articulation, just that spin in the middle. Does come up to just about... Yeah, just there. I think that's a perfect angle. Okay, so for the middle here, it looks like his waist comes all the way around. See that belt? Like I said, I'm not really a fan of this soft, this plastic here. It is nice that it's soft. It gets out of the way. He has no waist articulation. It looks like he does, but it's not going to move at all. And he has his Christmas colors here in the center. Continues down on the belt with his communicator or whatever. I don't know what we ever discovered what this was. His legs come up that high. And, oh, jeez. They've made a ballerina Darth Vader figure here. <laughs> his legs come up very, very high. While we got his leg up, might as well check his knee spin. His knee comes back that far, which is pretty good. You can get some dynamic poses with him. You know, if you want to make him a little butterfly for... Maybe a nice uh, Christmas video. You could do a little dancing. His foot comes back that far. And that much that far. And he does have that ankle tilt. But, oh, actually he does not. I apologize for that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, not, not a big fan of this figure. He looks really cool. I think he's more of a dynamic figure in the package than out of the package, to be honest with you. Not sure about this cape. If we leave it behind folded like this, I think that's supposed to be the way that it is. It does look fine like that. 
Oh, as far as standing this guy. Seems to stand well. But you can see his cape. I don't I don't know what they're doing here, what they did, but I don't know. If you guys find a better or something, let me know. But I just feel like the cape just wants to kind of sit like that. But otherwise, I would suggest just maybe folding it back here. And it's kind of behind him. But again, it just comes out. So I don't really get what they were doing with this cape. I almost kind of feel like they should have done a plastic cape and just had it come around instead of this. Like this, they did the soft goods here and then the plastic cape. I think they kind of did it the opposite way. Again, that's my opinion. Don't criticize me too hard for it if you guys are upset. I know there's a lot of diehard Vader fans out there. I'm not bashing the figure. It just, I just think they could have done some other things. I don't know. Maybe if this is... Um, I know they do a lot of remakes, Nat. I feel like this is a much better Vader figure. I do have to say that the eyes are killer. Although it doesn't show the red in the packaging, I think they did a really good job here. There is no place to hold the saber hilt, but Vader would always have his in hand. He does have the hands here, and you just kind of press this in here. Oh, it's a pretty well. Smack on the figure. I don't really see much of it moving. But... I really wish they had a little more of a wrist movement, but I feel like you can get your good poses with that, some battle poses with it, but it, the saber doesn't want to sit in there too well. I mean, when you, it's fine if it's just standing there, but it's just, a, if you can see, guys, this is a really weird finger, like, grip. You know what I'm saying? Like, normally grip something that's like that. It's usually what they, I mean, that's not very appealing, but... It's usually like grabbing it like that makes it feel like the hilt's bigger than it should be. Yeah, I don't know. Unless, unless I'm getting something wrong here, which I hope I'm not, but I've had many Vader figures in my life. But yeah, like I said, I really like the look of it. I think the chest in this is very holiday theme, if you will. But as far as the cape, again, just try a fold here. Like there is the natural fold, but when you do that, He's got so much extra cape back here. It's, I mean, if you guys can see this again, get that bat, bat spread on him. This is a very, very, very large cape. It almost looks like his hairpiece. Yeah, the, maybe if you try folding it like this. Yeah, I don't want to make this video run too long so you guys get bored part of the way through, but... Yeah, I think maybe that's probably going to be the best way for it to go. But see, it still comes out. I'll figure it out. I'll monkey with it. Maybe pin it back with something. But yeah, so as far as the saber goes, pretty sure this is your typical Vader saber. Really nice sculpt. I mean, it's it's nothing that we haven't seen probably quite a few hundred times before. Uh it doesn't go in his other hand. He does have a grippy hand, but it doesn't go in his hand. He does use this. I wish they would have done the fist. They kind of got it, but as you see on the packaging here, excuse my uh, movement, he's got a fist. I don't know why they didn't incorporate that into the figure. It seems like they were trying to, but again, I really think there's a lot of reuse here. I don't have any example, but I feel like maybe he's doing a force grab, but then again... You would have your hands out like that, I would believe. Yeah, so I don't I don't really know what they were going for when they made this figure, but yeah, so that's my review. I wish I had a comparison for you guys for this Vader, but unfortunately I don't. If you guys have any comments, leave them below. If you're new, please like and subscribe. And until the next video, have a good day and be safe.